Hi there guys, welcome back. Today I saw an interesting article on how to change the Roblox default character sounds. The author of the article gave us a very nice step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it and I tested it out. Everything works great. So what I want to do is first I want to show you the steps exactly as done in the article on how to change the default character sounds and then we're going to analyze it to see if we can make the steps simpler. So according to the author, if you play a game, and if you go to your character in the workspace, go to your character, look for the humanoid root part. If you expand that, you're going to see a bunch of sound. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to change the jumping sound of the character. So the default jumping sound is this. You hear that sound? Now let's go back to studio and see how we can change that sound. So first we're going to go to starter player, starter character script. We're going to add a local script and in your local script, just insert the following lines. Another thing we need to do is we need to insert a sound file into the local script. So I'm selecting my local script. I'm going to go to home toolbox and you're going to search for a sound. The one that I'm going to choose is this one right here. Okay. And just click on insert. It should go inside the local script. Now I can close this window here and you need to rename your sound file to this name right here to new jump. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. Again, I'm just copying this code exactly from the article. Let's go over this code, see what it does. Um, how about we start down here? So down here, we're waiting for the humanoid root part of the character to load. We're waiting for the jump sound to load. And then if we find it, we're going to destroy it. We're going to remove it. So now the character no longer has a jump sound. So what we're going to do is when the, the character is jumping here, right? Instead of the old jump sound that we have deleted, we're going to play the new jump sound this file here that we have just added. Let's play test now and see if this works. I'm in. Let me jump. You see, it worked. That's very cool. All right, so basically, if you want to change the default character sounds in your games, you can do it this way. Now on to the second part of this video is we want to analyze this and to see if we can find like a simpler way to do it. So basically here um, we are removing the sound file and we're playing a different sound file when the character makes a jump. Instead of doing that, what I want to do is I'm not going to remove the old sound file, but I'm just going to replace it with a new sound ID. So that when the character jumps, it's going to play the new sound file, right? I want to remove this because I don't need this. So here, instead of destroying the jump sound here, I'm just going to change its sound ID. So we're going to do jump sound dot sound ID equal to. And we're just going to paste in the new sound ID. So the new sound ID is our new jump file here, right? Our new jump sound. We're going to go to the sound ID. We're going to click here, right click, copy. And we're going to go back over here and paste it in. All right. I The AI recommended me to do this, but I don't need it. So I don't need to change the volume. I'm just going to remove this. If you want to change the volume, you can do it there as well. I believe that should do it because when the character joins the game, we're just going to change the character's jumping sound file to a new sound ID and that should play the sound from the new sound ID. Let us play test and take a look. Get ready. There it is. And by the way, we don't need to have a sound file here either. So I can just delete this because we're putting it directly into the existing sound file. Let's play again and take a look. And here we are. I'm going to run. And there it is. 
Guys, that is how you change the Roblox default character sounds in your games.